I this is little dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Just because I can, and I continue with Deus Ex Human Revolution. Blind, I'm just about to board the shuttle to Taeyong Medical, but I guess first maybe I should review my augmentations. I have three practice points, which is a significant enough number, I guess. Mm. Hmm. You know what? I might as well max out this. Uh, it's overall useful um, for for takedowns and for uh, the cloak, but it'll also help with any other um, active arguments I would get in the future. Um, I think I'll get this next. Take down two opponents at once. Might be useful. This is also interesting, protecting from fall fall damage. <laughs> Obviously Typhoon is out of the question. I'm not interested in any of those, mm. as they don't really fit my non-lethal playstyle. Mm. Decreased um, chance of detection might be somewhat useful, but to be honest it seems like a waste of a point. Um, rebreather isn't really that interesting either. Now, there are some potentially useful things here. Punching through walls and additional inventory space. Um, but I think I'll go for those first. Um, and if I get any more than four before before the end of the game, then I'll invest in something else. Okay, let's board the shuttle. Mm, unfinished side quest. I don't think I even have any side quests. Yep. Let's go. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Young Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. Oh, what a great advice. Let's check the newest edition of the newspaper. Mm. Breakthrough at First Alive. I guess this is Zhao, the CEO of um, Tayo Medical. Interesting. So apparently mm, there are uh, bioengineered people uh, working in uh, Panacea, the deep ocean um, base of Hyudaru, because they are um, they are augmented to like withstand uh, pressure and whatever. And it says that it can be also used. Uh, it can be also used. Uh, it can also be used in the future um, in like space travel or whatever. That's interesting. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, like, if the whole base is underwater, then it's more the case of uh, the, the the materials withstanding the pressure. I think more than actual people, because if you build uh, an enclosed space underwater and then you could theoretically just walk around inside 
uh, normally, because the pressure would sort of uh, equalize or whatever uh, to to the to the normal. Because like the pressure of the water would be mostly felt uh, by the material itself on the outside, right? So I don't quite get uh, unless they are just straight up working uh, on the bottom of the ocean, you know, walking around or something. That would be kind of weird, like almost like they were. I don't know, big daddies uh, out of Bioshock or something. Okay, I don't have much choice regarding which way to go. storage, say young medical, yeah, because I'm actually already at their facility, just at like a lower, lowest level. No, oh, apparently there's someone dying in here. with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to go there. Sure. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Please, hurry. Please. Uh, the higher-ups of the company might be my enemies, but this guy, this guy is just a random guy. Probably just working at a regular job. And to be honest, even if he was straight on my enemy, I would still prefer him not to die, I would just knock him unconscious, as I do with the others. Okay, yeah, I'm actually I'm going to fail that. Access denied. Rick, I think he might actually die in the meantime. It would be kind of embarrassing. Because this, this, this is the room next door. Some... Stop right there! Oh, oh freak. I, oh. I totally forgot I don't have any more uh, ammunition for the uh, stun gun, which is definitely also problematic. Enough with. A... I'll see where I can. Oh. Don't just stand there. Hurry. I don't think I can do it. Actually, I think it, the, the the time is. Might have to use the uh, automatic augmentation, although probably there's some other way um, of getting inside. It's through oh, a vent or something. Stop right there. Through a vent oh, or something. Uh, so, um, security rating one. But this is to the actual room in which he's currently dying, right? Though that would kind of help him, I guess, because presumably he could uh, just escape. Access granted. Okay, I'm, I myself I cannot enter the room. Okay, I have seven of those undetectable ones, so I guess what I can do is just 
and I'll use two of them or something. This will expedite this. Access granted. Mm, there's a valve. And hopefully he will reward me with some information. The pocket secretary, I will read that. Mm, chemical storage access. Ah, I have a couple of codes um, here, which is definitely useful for later. Uh, is he still alive? You saved my life. How can I repay you? You can give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to acquire your sterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kim is the god on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you, and he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. Okay. You saved my life. Not many people would have done that here. Hmm. Now, how, how do I get out? energy cells. If you have a malfunction to report, talk to me. Hopefully the mechanical arm will be fixed by tomorrow. Oh, is she missing an arm? Well, no, so I'm not sure what was that about. After all, my own arm is working just fine, so it couldn't have been a comment about that. Mm. Ah, I guess she meant this, right? Well, what can I do with this? Mm, it's like a storage unit. Now I do have a couple of codes, so maybe I'll be able to hack some of those computers and at the very least uh, disable a couple of turrets or... Mm. Now what would that do? Warning. Catwalk. Ah, I guess it'll create a bridge or something? I'm just a little paranoid that, I don't know, it'll accidentally crush somebody or something, you know, do something unpredictable that I didn't think about. Okay, tranquilizer rods, definitely going to take those. Mm, this is the same. Exactly. Am I going to be honest? I guess there's crossbow arrows, sniper rifle, ready chip. I want to read the ebook. 
Okay, I don't think I can read the ebook without taking the credit chip. So, so I okay, maybe 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 I can. Tanya Medical and you. Are committed to making a principal augmentation producer by the year 2030. Now I'm not, not sure if I remember the name Tayo Medical from Deus Ex One, so uh, maybe I'll actually cause their downfall or something. Hmm, it's interesting that they have a major center in Nigeria. Is it because the labor is uh, cheapest there? Or perhaps there are the fewest regulations because nobody gives a shit what happens to all those poor, poor people in the third world so you can exploit them for your, you know, to your heart's content. Uh, Pump from code, okay. Hmm. I guess that that would be that would be where the catwalk would extend. So I probably have to go back and activate it. I just really hope it doesn't do something weird, like falling onto somebody's head and crushing it. I guess it was peaceful enough. Jillian uh, guards around and and I don't exactly have the means to take them all out at least not easily and I definitely don't have the means to survive this I would have need needed the Icarus landing system, but I don't think we have any practice points at this stage. Hmm. Okay, so what's my... Like, what I'm even doing here? I thought this would... You know, lead me somewhere in particular, but I guess... I'm supposed to go down there, which is definitely not good news for me because uh, downstairs is exactly the place that's currently crawling with enemies. storage depot, depot. I'm supposed to go through Pango, right? I do remember that name. I'll use one of those just to be safe. Probably didn't need that, but I should enough have enough time to capture this. Access granted.
some files but I can't really read them okay, there's one of those giant bots here mm, not to mention all of the guards so do we have an EMP grenade? Hmm, apparently not, so it's pretty much impossible for me to destroy it, unless I... Unless I find one. I think I'm actually trapped here. I wonder if, if this works on bots as well. I guess it probably does. Which is a sim uh, which is a simplification compared to Deus Ex One, where you actually had separate argumentation for hiding yourself from robots and from people. for this though. situation to be in. because I didn't have a full battery to perform that additional takedown, so overall it was all pointless. Uh, now I can do it better by just waiting until this guy turns his back and then knocking him out.
Thank you. This is supposed to serve as foreshadowing for um, for the Illuminati takeover. Although I guess they're probably already in power. Like even in Deus Ex, it was one. It was described that they have they have been ruling, um, um, you know, the major governments of Earth for decades uh, at this point. Uh, but they have just bec uh, become more and more direct in their control and more and more unstoppable. But the guy at, uh, at the radio was talking about how um, they want people to ask them to save them and then under the guise of that help uh, they will you know, take over to basically save you from yourself, whether you want it or not. Okay, I lost this. Access denied. Mm, just barely. But I did, didn't, didn't use any of the additional items, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, I just lost some time. Okay, there's an elevator, which I'm supposed to use, but... Okay, this is problematic because... There are two of them, okay. but I only can. Over there! Move it! Oh. Oh. Mm. I only take them can take them down with the rifle or in melee because I have exactly zero. Ammunition for the uh, taser. <coughs> mm, I'm worried that they might have actually killed their own soldiers. Unless they have like gas masks and they're immune to. Is alive. Mm, this guy is alive. Alive. And alive. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to retry uh, hacking this before I go down the elevator. I don't need this at all. Access granted. Okay, now what does that give me? 
large storage room with some ammunition I don't need. So overall, not much in the grand scheme of things. So I guess I'm ready to go into the elevator. Which, by the way, I'm still perplexed by. Richard, I'm in an elevator leading to the Pangu. Any security features I should know about ahead? Nothing too taxing, I suspect. The Pangu's used mostly for maintenance and storage. Look for a second elevator once you're there. It'll carry you straight into the tower. Because it seems to me that it should be pretty obvious for maintaining security to whatever place that you should be checking out who's coming in and out through, especially through a noisy thing such as an elevator. Like, it really isn't that difficult to take a quick glance at a person exiting the elevator to see, you know, who's that. Um, well, and power cable, danger of electrocution. Fortunately, I'm totally immune to that. Mm. And I probably can even switch it off right here. Access granted. That's probably safer because because Okay, I'm taking that. Oh, need to drop something. Uh, probably safer because Okay, I'm kind of intrigued by this because this is the multi-target uh, non-lethal weapon. But what I was saying is, it's probably uh, safer to um, disable the electricity because one of my enemies might actually stumble upon that and kill themselves by accident, which is then going to weigh on my conscience because I recognize the burden of being the freaking player-controlled character. Uh, compared to all of the NPCs. Not to mention, I do possess the power to basically reset the world every time I fail. Mm. Oh. Mm. I can't exactly read that even when jumping. Okay, give me one of those. This is the second elevator that Pritchard was talking about. And I guess I can eat some of those energy bars in the meantime. Jensen, what is it you're looking for exactly? Some kind of surveillance recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed it on a server somewhere. He must have meant the data core room. Very high security. It'll be a couple of floors up from where the elevator lets you off. 
But the first corridors you'll pass through will be public, so you might want to keep any weapons concealed. Copy that. Hmm. Actually, that makes me wonder, how does Jensen uh, conceal of all of his weapons? Like, he has at least like, three of them. I mean, some of them do fall, like, for example, this is very... Uh, this is very small, because it basically falls in half, so he can stash it in his pocket, but the rifle, for example, it's pretty large. But I guess that's uh, video game logic, you can't explain anything, because if you tried, then you'd end up with a game where you can only have like one weapon, and maybe two weapon stops, and that just wouldn't be as fun. So I guess he said that the first level... In China now, as details about a bold maneuver by biotech corporation Taiyong Medical continue to emerge. Sources close to the multinational giant inform me that it has successfully purchased rival corporation N Protech of Scotland. NPRO stock had taken a dip earlier in the day as rumors began to circulate, accusing CEO Ollie McTavish of embezzlement. McTavish denied the allegations, but could not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up in his personal account. I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Zhao Yunru, CEO of Taiyong Medical, as transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase gives Taiyong a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Hmm. Violence against uh, augmented people on the rise in mainland China? Report says China yes. Now, now, that's actually touching on a question I was considering before, uh, because someone on the streets of Hengsha said that apparently there isn't as much anti-augmentation prejudice uh, in China as there is in the West, and I questioned that, and I wondered if it's maybe because the government itself is actually suppressing it because it's heavily investing um, and heavily backing up the um, augmentation companies, so uh, the government itself wants them to succeed, and the government itself is mostly pro-augmentation, um, if only for the strictly monetary and financial reasons, uh, so they suppress the descent so that the um, so that the stock value of the companies interested in bio argumentation remains remains high. Hmm. You must be one of the new promotions. Physically augmented workers like you are usually found in the cryo storage pool in the lower building. <laughs> what a freak. This is unacceptable. I need to get into Legion Lab immediately. Yes, I understand that I'm the one who lost my access card, but it's your job to provide me with a new one immediately. I have important deadlines to meet. How the how the? Okay, so I guess that's, that's pretty convenient for this guy to uh, tell me that in English. Are you recently up from the manufacturing plant? Mm, as I'm as I'm going by, you know. Just, so this candy bar there's right right and i give it a good tug and suddenly the vending machine starts tipping oh shit oh shit is right luckily they're lighter than most vending machines i honestly thought it was the end for a second death by a vending machine <laughs> how pointlessly tragic mm. i guess i'm supposed have to have you had any trouble with the security personnel some of these bell tower people have a bad attitude I guess I'm supposed to find his lost uh, security card. Now, am I allowed in here? Mm, apparently. But what I'm probably not allowed to do is to read this. Mm. Apparently they don't care. Interesting. Some experiments being done, horrible side effects to be expected, probably. <laughs> I 
they are advising the one responsible to leave it to the legal team. Hmm, what? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like, at first I was incredulous about the uh, inbox size being uh, being uh, only four emails, but I guess it kind of makes sense because it would ensure that they would either delete or archive uh, all of the old emails, which is both good for clarity and also for like hiding information. You know, that would actually, if all of the NPCs in the game did that, that would actually prevent them from a lot of embarrassing things that happened to them because of me. Uh, security bot. Can't let you in. Access to the lab is strictly forbidden without a Li Gang access pass. Damn. Must have left it at my desk. Be back in a bit. Yeah, so I guess I'm supposed to find out uh, the other guy's badge? Although, I'm not sure how that would work, because to be honest, it's probably signed, uh, and, you know, it corresponds to him, and directly at least, that would make sense. So... I guess I just need to look around. For some reason, nobody cares if I keep reading. Oh, digging access card has been found. It's at security awaiting retrieval. Yeah, again, uh, at first it seems just ridiculous, but in fact, it's actually kind of a good strategy. Especially uh, if you're afraid of like corporate esp uh, espionage or something, and um, or or like nosy people like Jensen going around and reading your emails. As I said, if everyone in the game did that, they would have saved themselves themselves a lot of trouble. In fact. Access granted. Okay. Ah, there's a vent over here, which might be might be useful for me. Mm, read that. So apparently one of the lower workers had a problem with them sacrificing um, quality for monetary gain and the other is like, dude, that's just what we do. It's not at all about ideals, it's all about money. And I read that. Apparently they fired someone. Well, let's check where the vent leads. So I need to visit security in particular to retrieve the the card. I think. This computer actually belongs to the guy that lost the card in the first place. Access granted. A military augmentation. Hmm. Ah, interesting. 
though I guess I imagine, like I'm not 100% sure, but I imagine this is about the typhoon and they managed to steal at least the vague idea of it because it says modified compact chassis, uh, sharpened microcharges, explosive balls that detonate, detonate when proper, propelled outward and also says something about the transmission that was, sev uh, that was uh, severed so I guess they kind of got it, but only a part of it. But why is the information like on a computer of a rank and file guy? That's what's interesting to me. Mm. I guess there's also an ebook. Mm, the gang, yeah. And cybernetic leg prosthetics. Reveal the hacking device, not for general public. Cranial implant. Mm. Treadmill. Like, pretty sure I've been noticed. But I guess this is the security building, I mean, office, right? Side of those rooms is noticed. So I guess the guy's uh, security pass should be somewhere around here, and I might as well. Yeah, security. It even says so on the window. Might as well. Log into the security terminal, maybe disable a couple of cameras or something. Should have enough time to get to the end. Mm, though maybe not. Access granted. Yeah, disable that. Oh, still something. Guys, access card somewhere around here. I was led to believe so. Well, not exactly uh, what I was looking for, but I'm still going to take it. Maybe there's a different security station. Like maybe there's not not on, not only one of them, but a couple of them. Uh, and this is just a socket, right? We've mm. searched the drawers. Well, I guess this is no longer public space, judging from the reaction. Or is it? Yeah, it very clearly isn't. And carry the code. That's 
the password for the guy's computer, but I've already hacked it, so it doesn't help me much. Ah, and it's talking about the uh, civil war in Australia, because apparently uh, the Chinese government is backing the rebels. already read that, just from the other side, as it were. What's my direct objective, anyway? Ah, uh, ending the recording. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's actually the, the exact place I was trying to get to in the first place, right? So I guess at this at this point the card is pretty. Uh, the card is pretty obsolete. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Apparently, it doesn't really stun them. Uh, it's just, um, it just knocks them to the ground, and then I have to finish them off in some other way. That, that isn't half as useful as I would have liked it to be. And to be honest, it would be easier if I found the card, but mm. not sure. Wait, there is something here. Okay, just somebody's password. It also isn't too useful at this point. I'm pretty sure it should be here, right? But I've looked around the room and I just can't seem to locate it. Okay, so I'm very clearly not allowed to be here. Mm, read that. Well, I guess I, I guess I can. At, at this point, I can just disregard the card entirely and just. Proceed straight up through the forbidden area. <laughs> the other guy, the scientist, is just like, What? Okay, you go hide or something. I have no quarrel with you. I will use one of those. That's a lot of scientists, but not a lot of uh, guards, which is an optimal situation, because I have no particular problem with the scientists themselves. I guess they can raise the alarm, but... well. Mm. 
restricted area personal only. It seems it seems almost like this goes goes back to the public corridor. So I will explore uh, this like lab area entirely first. Already read that. Mela! Mela! McTavish denied the allegations, but could not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up in his personal account. Mm. I'm sure it was just yeah, it almost looks like. I've been getting a lot of complaints about the temperature in the data core room. Too hot? No, too cold. I think there's too much air coming in from one of the vents. I have a check there. <laughs> if that isn't a, a suspicious conversation, letting me know that there's a vent going into the very room I need to go to, then I don't know what is. But I find it weird that none of them care that I've just like knocked out three guards inside. One of their... that it has successfully purchased rival corporation and protech okay I've listened to that are you recently up from the manufacturing plant nice and warm here I just came from the data core archives it's freezing in there hey okay, there's no vent access from this room I'm sure it was just it's a clerical error quipped Zhao Yu Okay, maybe I can hack this computer while the other guy is otherwise occupied. I guess they just don't care. That's weird. Yeah, somebody is complaining about the uh, inbox email limit. Well, I guess if they didn't care, then maybe the other guys also won't care and they can just read the other email as well. Over here. Ah, but this one is locked, which I presume they're going to be pretty annoyed with me trying to break that. Hmm. I guess they won't care. That's straight up weird. But what do I know? Access granted. Hmm. That's the hacker, Windmill, that's his, um, like, code name or something. He's bragging about breaking into the servers over here. Ah, <laughs> I, I, I guess he kept breaking into them while he was employed by them, <laughs> just to show that he could. Kind of funny. Um, okay, safety zone. Data core. Well, I guess this is the server room. I guess. <laughs> Judging from how little. Where do you think you're going? The data core room is for authorized personnel only. You're not gonna get in there. Hmm. I might try this. Worst case scenario, he gets um, he gets uh, what's the word? Uh, hostile. You're kidding me. They sent me all the way up here without the correct authorization papers. Man, what I wouldn't give to be one of you security guys. You probably got the right clearance, right? I bet you've got free access to every room in this building. Almost. And what I can't get into, I can usually see on the security room monitors. Like the room next door. 
Tell me, is that the only security room monitoring the data core? No, there's a second one inside. Doesn't show as much, but it does control most of the lasers in there. And it's air conditioned. Nice. Yeah, except sometimes the cold air coming out of the vent fucks up one of the lasers. Damn thing starts blinking. Maintenance is supposed to take a look at it, but the way things move around here, I ain't holding my breath. I know what you mean. Slowest department in the building. But then, they probably can't get the clearance. Mm, okay, so that just reiterated what I've already heard. That there's a room nearby that's supposedly connected via a vent to uh, the other part. Mm. I came through here originally, so I guess because I thought this would be the ultimate server room, but I guess it's actually this whole a large part, so this might just be the room with the vent or something. I'm f definitely going to check it out, um, especially seeing how there's nobody around to see me hacking into it. Mm. But I will do that next time because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save here. And that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!